Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Mandy. Thank you so, so much for being here. If you are new, welcome. I hope that you'll stick around, hit that red subscribe button and become part of our family. So today we are doing a newer box to the channel. This is my second box. Fun fact, I already just unboxed this box thinking I was recording the whole entire time when I was not. There are some reactions that, oh my gosh, I wish you could have seen because I will tell you along the way when we go through this box, but I am so upset that you guys don't get to see my original reactions. That is why I try not to look at too many spoilers. BoxyCharm, I do because it's BoxyCharm and I can't help myself, but otherwise I try not to look at any spoilers so that I can show you my true reaction when I open up these boxes. So I'm sorry that I didn't get this this time and it was comical and the best, but I will tell you along the way. So this is the $30 a month box and I'm actually really liking it. So let's just go ahead and get into it because I'm upset about the whole, I just recorded the whole video and looked up and it wasn't even recording. So anyway, apparently this is the August box and that came very, very late. So I don't understand that unless it's because of the COVID issues and all that, which it could be. So we'll see when my September box comes, but here is the little card. And when you open her up, she is personalized. It has my name right there. And I'm not gonna show you because everything's open and you'll just see everything. But I love the personalization. When I opened it and seen my name with the little heart on it, I kind of melted, um, but I really like that touch. I wish other boxes would do that. That means somebody took the time out to at least put a, you know, something personalized in your box. So thank you Bijou Beauty Box for that. So without further ado, let's get into this for the second time. So the you guys. first item in the box, and I'm going to pull these out the same order that I pulled them out when I just recorded so that you can, I can kind of try to recreate it. So this is a highlighter and it is from Rude Cosmetics and this is valued at $8. Um, they don't really give you explanation of the products on the little card. It just tells you how much it is. And this is in A-E-G-L-E -E Light. I don't know how to pronounce that, so I'm just spelling it out. This is really pretty. So here is the packaging. It reminds me so much of Essence, which if you haven't tried their blushes that look like that, you guys. So it just says Rude Nymph Glow, Glow Powder. And then, like I said, it's light. And here is what it looks like. And yes, I did swatch it, obviously, because I've already did this. And it is stunning. Oops. That was like this weirdest swatch I could have ever did. All right, so it is right there. And that is a beautiful, I definitely will be trying this tomorrow. Um, I love it. I, it's really, not, I really like it. All right, moving on to the next item. It is a lipstick from Suva Beauty. And Suva Beauty has those liners that I like a lot. And um, this is, a, like I said, a lipstick and it is valued at $14. I love the shade name. It is called a Fictional Reality. Now, however, this is a purple shade, so I will not be swatching this because I won't wear it, but I will show you what it looks like. It is, look at that highlighter still. It is really pretty. It's just not for me. So that will end up going into a future giveaway. Um, but again, not a bad product at all. Moving on, this made me fall to the floor basically. These are gel eyeliners from Illuminati Cosmetics. And are you ready for the price for two gel liners? I mean, I'm looking to make sure, $42, $42. So we're talking $21 a piece and it's Illuminati gel paint, um, I guess just gel liners. But you guys, when I swatched this thing, I about, I, I so wish you guys could have seen my original reaction because I about fell over. These are fantastic. Fantastic. So we have electric blue and electric pink. 
and here's what the pink looks like ready you guys this is beautiful this is like urban decay quality look at how nice that is and then the blue one i can't show you when i do it because i'm gonna mess it up but it just glides right on there it is so pigmented i am ecstatic to have these in my collection I love a bright eyeliner and they, these are gorgeous, gorgeous. I couldn't believe the price. I wouldn't pay that, but these are gorgeous. All right, moving on to the next item and it is an OMFG Cosmetics eyeliner and this is a glitter liner and this is priced at $6 and it's very nice, very nice. Doesn't have a smell like most gel or not gel, um, these kind of glittery, uh, gluey kind of eyeliners, I want to say. It, it doesn't have a smell at all, but it is right there, and it is really nice. I, I love these, so I can't wait to use this color. I don't have anything, like, basically that opaque as a, a gel liner. So, I mean, or a um, glitter liner. So, I'm still thinking about the OFMGs. I mean, yeah, no, Illuminati's. So last item i did not get to touch this but i i mean i did open it and i got but i didn't touch it yet so this is a palette from omfg cosmetics it is called feeling foxy palette and it, it is valued at 32 dollars so when you open her up she has a mirror and here are your colors and this is actually right when i noticed that i wasn't filming and um so now here we are now this is all going to be genuine i love that there are glitters in here i know a lot of people don't like the glitters i actually really like this color story um so i'm kind of excited to try this so let's go ahead and do some swatches you guys i do not own anything as far as a palette from this company so this is going to be the first time that i've ever touched any of their eyeshadows and they are soft so it doesn't have any names which kind of I don't like but I mean you know it is what it is and they don't have them on the back or anywhere so we're just gonna go for it so here is well not the whole top row but that is the first couple of them let's just keep going they're so soft these are really pretty. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that. So I'm gonna kind of lean down so I can do this without running out of room, which I'm still gonna do, it looks like. These are all one swipe swatches. One swipe swatches. Um, all right, these are nice. They are a little powdery. Like there's definitely some powdery kick up because they are so soft, but I mean, we're going to do the glitters last, too. These are pretty nice. Now, there's not really any, like, stunning metallics in here. Like, this one's a metallic, but it's not, like, oh, wow metallic. But that's pretty. It doesn't look like anything's skipping. You probably will get some fallout, like I said, because, yeah, see, that's a metallic. Sorry, my nose itches. It looks like that's a metallic and that's a metallic and that's it. The rest are mattes. Oh, and this pink right here is a metallic. So then the rest are mattes. But, um, oh, I just dropped the liner on the floor. So that won't be in our recap because I'm not going to reach down and get it. So let's do our little three glitters. All right. So, oh, they're, they're nice. Like you touch it and it moves and it's soft. They're nice. Oh, yes. Okay. So, let's go and see. There are... Whoa, you guys. You guys, look at that. I, You know I love my glitters. All right. So, we're going to go right here. Oh, look at that. And it all comes off the finger pretty much. I am going to love playing with this. Look at that. Wow, you guys, look at them glitters. They are stunning. 
stunning. I would definitely use a glitter glue with them, but they're pretty. Okay, so I'm in, I'm so happy with this. Like you can see the kick up a little bit. I'm sure you can in a couple of them, but I'm telling you the color payoff on this, I think is going to be great. I'm excited to try this. Um, wow. All right. So our recap, we have our gel liner or I mean our, this liner, the, the metallic glitter liner on the floor. Then we have the palette. We have these beautiful liners and we have this highlighter and there goes another liner and we have the Suva Beauty, um, lipstick anyway i'm blanking out here so let me know what you guys think also tell let me know if this box always comes late like that i mean this is september 11th when i'm filming this so i'm not sure when it's going to go up but to get an august box and i've only had this sitting here for maybe four days so i mean but it still came like the second week of september so that's kind of weird Maybe it's just the shipping right now. I don't know. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this box. Do you receive this box or do you watch videos on people that do? And does everybody get the same thing? I'm kind of curious. I'm definitely going to go back and watch some Bijou Beauty boxes now. But I'm scared that if I watch them, I'm going to see September's box. So let me know down below if everybody gets the same or if it's like BoxyCharm where everybody gets different things. So thank you so much for being here with me the second time. Really, you were only here the first time, but thank you again, you guys. Have a fantastic day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.